When I came in to recovery, I didn't really think I was an alcoholic. I really didn't. I didn't think I had a drinking problem. It wasn't really over the drinking that brought me to recovery. It wasn't. It wasn't a direct result from the drinking. You know what it did? You know what it was? It was the insanity of my life. The craziness, not paying the rent, not able to hold a job, ending up in jail, getting charged with assault, getting charged with uttering death threats, smashing cars up, not paying my loans, getting cars re-pulled, getting in fights, on and on and on and on. The list went on and on and on. And at the end, I simply drove myself raging insane. I was totally nuts at the end of my drinking. And when I went into recovery, they told me that the drinking you're powerless over. I felt power when I drank. They said your life was unmanageable when you drank. Thanks to the booze, it made me manageable. And I couldn't get it. I couldn't get it. I relapsed twice. I ended up in jail again once. And I relapsed twice at the beginning because I couldn't put it together. It, the booze was causing the insanity and the insanity was calmed down by the booze. And my life was just a circle of addiction and craziness circle over and over and over. This insanity was, was out of control. And I often tell people, it's not the drink I'm afraid of, it's the insanity. When you're so mad that you think you could hurt another individual, and the damage I caused to myself and people around me was, I couldn't, I couldn't, like I couldn't fix it. I couldn't fix it. I came into recovery when I was 28 years old because somebody told me, somebody finally got close to me, told me I was an alcoholic. You know, the insanity of drinking, the craziness of it, if you can't relate to the drinking part of it or you're powerless, just do a little back look at your life, of the insanity of your life. And if you think that your life was normal because of the way you behave and the way you act and your relationships, your work life, wherever you did, wherever you were, if you think that was normal, maybe you're more crazier than I was. But the insanity scared me. Like, what have I become? Look at you, Terry G. Look what you have become. You are completely off the rails. You are uncontrollable. They're gonna lock you up forever in a jail or put you in a mental hospital. You've gotta do something. The day I quit drinking, no, not the day, about a week after I quit drinking, I ran through backyards to a mental hospital here in Ottawa called the Royal Ottawa and begged them to take me in. I thought the cops were after me. They were not. The paranoia was out of control. I thought my wife, my ex-girlfriend at the time was gonna call the cops on me all the time because she was a cop caller. I thought people were after me when they looked at me. And you know something? I didn't have too much booze in me at that time. But I, like, I don't know what happened, but I went totally nuts. I went totally nuts, like the gig was up. 28 years of madness through childhood, through adolescence, teenager, young adult, finally came to a head, finally came to a head. And that insanity was the key that opened my door to a successful life. It really did, a successful recovery life. And what a trip, man, what a trip. You know, and, and I'm not gonna talk much about anything anymore. I don't want to uh, muddy the waters. But if you're thinking you're not an alcoholic, if you think drug addiction is not causing you any problems in your life, just look around. Just look around. You may have the big house and the car and everything, but how's your relationships? How are you feeling? Do you need drugs and alcohol to keep it moving, to keep it moving forward? Do you need that? Well, if you do, yeah, it's probably insanity. But this insanity, the one thing about insanity, when I was, when I was actively drinking, and when I came into early recovery, that it's invisible. You can't see 
your own insanity. Other people see it for you. And they wonder, what the hell is up with Terry G? What's up with Terry? He's going nuts. And you know something, that's all I want to talk about. <laughs> you know, that's what came to my heart today. That's what came to me. And that's what I want to think the step two in the 12 step program, you know, return me to sanity. I had no problem identifying with that because I thought step two in sanity is what brought me into recovery. It what brought me into recovery. You know, I often say it wasn't the drinking that convinced me I was an alcoholic. It was trying to live without the alcohol that con convinced me I was an alcoholic. 